problem eight states when the price of oranges changes from two hundred dollars to one hundred and sixty dollars per bushel the quantity demanded changes from one thousand to fourteen hundred bushels what is the price elasticity of demand for oranges so the first thing we should do is get the formula for the to, for figuring out the price elasticity of demand and that is the percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in the price and this can be rewritten as change in quantity demanded over quantity divided by change in price over price now to get these two is pretty simple the change in quantity demanded and the reason we want to work with this formula instead of this formula is because of the whole percentage change that can get a little confusing I find it much easier to use this one if you feel comfortable with this formula that's fine so with this formula it's the, 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 the change in quantity demand and the change in price is very easy. You just figure out the difference between the two quantities and the two prices. For the quantity point and the price point, it's important to remember that you have to put the midpoint. You, you can't choose either price. You have to choose the midpoint. So, for instance, here we have the price changing from, from $200 to 160 And you have the quantity going from 1,000 to 1,400. So the first, the first part of the formula is the the percentage, the the change in quantity demanded, 1,000 to 1,400 is 400. So we can write that. 400. Now again, for this point we pick the midpoint. So we don't choose 1000 or 1400, we choose right in between and that's going to be 1200. And you're going to find that throughout all these tests, whenever you have a price elasticity question, uh, Professor Rush is going to set it up so that every time there's going to be a perfect midpoint. You're not going to have to break your head too much to figure out where the midpoint is. It's always going to be pretty easy. Here it's 1,200. It's right in between 1,000 and 1,400. So moving on to the next portion, the change in price from 200 to 160. Sorry, I forgot to, to add. These are absolute values. So it ends up not mattering whether it's <coughs> uh, positive or negative. So here we have a drop from 200 to 160. So that's minus 40. And then the midpoint between 200 and 160 is 180. Again, these are absolute values. What this ends up coming out to is about 0.333333 divided by 0.22222, which is roughly 1.5. And that's your answer. It's A. 1.5.